Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use CSS animation to change the hover state of a button. Um, it's, there's, this is an interesting way to do it. You can use uh, CSS uh, keyframes to change the color of a button in its hover state. Uh, so that's kind of like, what's an example? If you hover over these curriculum form, as you can see, it goes, it goes the background goes gray, it's green, but when I hover my mouse over, it turns gray. That's just the, your um, browser um, adjusting the hover state of the element that you're hovering over with your mouse. Um, and so they have an example here. It looks like there's a style element with an animation name of width. As, so the width is the variable name that ties it to the keyframes. Uh, this duration's for 500 milliseconds, and then at 100%, the width is 40 pixels. Um, so in this, it looks like if you were to hover over this image, we can actually just throw this in here and um, give it a try. So I just copied over it, and now you'll see if I hover over it, it uh, at 100%, it goes to 40 pixels, which is a weird, glitchy sort of... Uh, style. Anyways, that's what the code does. Um, and so what we're trying to do is we're going to use CSS keyframes to change the background color. So um, yeah, we've already have the variable um, set to background color. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go at uh, keyframes. We're going to set make it uh, background color. And we're going to set that so that at 100% it is uh, the background color is equal to uh, 4791D0. And then so now if we hover over it, it goes kind of light blue, which is a weird transition. There's easier ways to do this. Um, as with a lot of this stuff, just be practicing it is useful. Um, because you sort of get the hang of the syntax and you get get used to writing CSS properly. We could just as easily make this um, animation say just like BG and uh, the variable would switch, um, would still tie itself to each other. And I don't think using background color would be a smart idea in a production app because it's the same variable as that one. But as you can see, the hover state still works even if we change it to there. Um, let's run the test. I don't think this will pass because I set it to BG. Yeah, because they, their test actually asks you to use this variable name. So I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to change this back. And then uh, you'll see the hover is maintained. And we can run the test, and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.